appropriate. Yeah. It's not appropriate. And I, and I would say that to him today. If I was saying with like, yo, you, your mouth, man, you're the president. You're also 79. You, you, you're, you're the president. You're 79. You just got shot in the ear. Like, get some new material. Like, <laughs> like, like, truly, like, bring us together. Like, shut the shit up. Like, you're the president. Be like, well, you talk. I'm not the president. You know, so, but I don't know what I was thinking, but, but, but in regards to that, that's what number first and foremost is, is, is Israel and, and is, is, is supporting Israel and Iran needs to be drained forever. How? I don't know, but financially there's a way to tariff their asses to they like squeeze, they have nothing. So they can't support these Hezbollah, these Houthis that could send a, a, a drone the size of a car in the Tel Aviv. Which is like sending it into like you know like by like it came off like the Hudson River, right? It's crazy. So honestly, it's I mean between your your two issues, Israel and your money yes. and the economy, would this be the first time you vote Republican? I'm not saying I'm going to vote Republican. You said, what you hear? Well, here was your quote: "Voting for Trump is on the table." Yes. Does that pain you? To say? yes, it says it pains me. It pains me. It pains you to be wrong. Yeah. So, you know, so you think you were wrong about him? I was wrong. I wasn't wrong about my personal feelings, and, and oh. I wasn't wrong about everything. And I wasn't wrong about his behavior. I, I think, you know, I'm well, sure. Agree with that. I'm yeah. sure his, his own family are like, yo, calm down, man. Stop. They do say it to him. I'm sure. Yes. But I was wrong about Israel, and I was wrong about economy stuff. I was wrong. I, I was... Not, and I wasn't even wrong about Israel. I was ill-informed about mm. about how he, you know, what he did with Iran and the importance of that, and 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 how it 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 was um, put the screws to Iran. Um, you know, I I I never I think you know as I, as I'm sort of going through this sort of process of understanding and learning, I never I feel like I'm no matter who anybody votes for, it's never going to be exactly what you want. You know, I don't agree with everything There's my no wife says. Yes. You know what I mean? Let and you still love her and you love the good and she's working on the bad. Yeah. So are you. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> but but at the end of the day, you know, like I'm I'm clear, I want my 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 interest rates to be down. And I know like, oh, that doesn't have anything to do. And but and and the first and then Israel needs to be protected more than ever now. Yeah. In more than ever right now, because we're under siege and the state of Israel is under siege. And the, um, you know, the, the future of Israel is is could possibly be in jeopardy if we are not protected, you know, and 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 in a blunt, aggressive way. And that means Israel needs to be. They need to be. Boom. Oh, absolutely. But there's no. There's been no bluntness, no aggression, um, nothing that's been very clear as far as leadership and direction from the current administration. I and know. I think, like, I personally have never felt more vulnerable as an American overall as I do now, uh, and in the last three and a half years since Joe Biden took office. One thing that. Um, I've been saying this for a hundred years and I, I don't know, I've always been interested in politics and certainly always paid attention, especially as a mother and all of those things. Um, but like the whole facts over feelings, guys. Yeah. And I understand the mouth. I understand some of the stuff where you're just like, dude, did you have to say that? That's not very becoming of a leader. I've thrown the morals and all that, all the feelings out the window. I'm a numbers person yeah. and a results person. And I think it's the only way or else you'll go crazy. I think you asked a question on your on your um on social media or your show. I'm not sure which one, but you know, if I what was it? I, I think I wrote it down. Yeah. Oh, can can I bitch if I don't vote? Uh yeah. No. You can't bitch. I don't want to hear it. I got in trouble because right after 2020, when Mike Evans, that super talented Buccaneers receiver, who I actually love as a player, he heard he's a great guy, he was like kneeling, right, that yeah, first yeah. Sunday after the election, yeah, yeah. and it's like, well, Trump and da 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 I found out he didn't vote. I'm like, shh. Shut up. Right. I don't want to hear a thing because there's people, and I'm a military kid, right? right and I have a right, grandfather right. who was a Buffalo soldier, like not allowed to, you know, fight for a country with white people because right. he was a black. Like, I don't want to hear it. There are so many people who have died for us to have the right. And then you're going to, uh, the line. What if I just long. vote locally? What if I vote my No. Lo okay, fine. Vote locally. Tell me how that's going to help Israel. 
I, 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 I'm I, just saying. That's why I pose the question to the geniuses on no. social media. I'm like, Michael, you are smart. You know that answer because we're better than that. And if we can't put our feelings aside from the mean tweets and mouthing off and the pompousness and all of the things, like, uh, who cares? I know, Are I know. we safer? At the end of the day, I think, like, you, they talk about people plugging their nose as they vote, like in 2016, Hillary or Trump. My God, fine. But I'm blown away at the number of people that I consider maybe not brilliant, some, but super smart and informed and educated who still put the facts aside because they don't like him, the person. Tell me one politician that is actually a really good person. Oh, I don't, I think these people are different level. Uh, so, Get over it, and what's the best thing? And I by know. the way, for some people, that is to vote Democrat, and Israel's not a priority for them. I, I know. It's all about abortion. Right. Fine. We're, which, by the way, Donald Trump has said we've got to meet in the middle. Yeah. There needs to be. Yeah. It, it was never in the Constitution. Yeah. It should always be up to the states. Yeah. That's 100% how yeah. it should be. So we're not taking away a constitutional right because there was no such thing. But if you're going to have that one issue, do it. Be educated, yeah. and then shut up. And yeah. Then, and then you, like, but if you're not voting... I know, I know. And that's why I asked the questions. Yes.